morning guys and happy Sunday. If you're new here, my name is Jenna. I film a lot of productivity, lifestyle, bullet journal videos, and vlogs. So if you want to hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Today's vlog is going to be a little bit different today. Instead of vlogging my entire day, I'm trying to challenge myself to get everything done by 12 or 1 because I just want to relax for the rest of my Sunday. So I figured in order to hold me accountable, I'd bring you guys along and show you what I want to do this morning. And hopefully we can accomplish everything everything. We're going to start off today with a Sunday morning workout. I don't usually do this, but I took like a five day break last week because I had hurt my neck. You know what? We're going to work out this Sunday. It is around 7.45. I got up at like 7.15 and I just kind of stayed in bed. We have around four to five hours to see if we can get everything done today that I want. So let's just go ahead and get our workout in. It's going to be a quicker one, but I figured I'll still show you guys the workout that I'm doing today. Today's workout outfit is just a set active. This is the color. I can't remember what color this is, but you can't get it anymore anyways because set active works on limited edition drops. So this is just the box cut bra and then the regular sculpt flex leggings in the size small. So that's what we're wearing to work out today. And now it's time to work out. Today's workout, we're going to do the 30 minute calorie killer hit from Growing Nanas. And we'll see. Our last workout was pretty disappointing, but let's see how this one is. That was honestly such a good workout. It was 30 minutes and I burned 200 calories in 30 minutes and that's how you know that it was a sweaty, challenging workout. I feel so good. I just feel so much better. There's no feeling like how you feel when you finish your workout and I feel great. Okay, today is actually a shampoo day. So we're going to shower really quickly and make some coffee and then I'm gonna show you guys, I already wrote it down in my bullet journal, but I have a lot to do today. So let's go ahead and shower. Okay, hello guys, we are back and I'm showered, feeling extra clean. Okay, so. I wanna show you guys what we're doing this morning and here's what we're doing today. So here's my bullet journal and we are on the, the second half of the dust drawer spread. I really wanna decide my 2021 spread themes. Not my January theme, but like my overall yearly spreads, just kind of what theme I wanna to add to it. I'll show you guys more when I do that. I want to see if I can find a Korean YouTube channel because Thomas suggested that's probably a good way to naturally learn Korean if it's like something that's entertaining to me. So we're gonna to try to find one of those today. I need to do my laundry. I'm going to help my mom make a birthday book for her friend. I want to overall clean the apartment and sanitize everything. I need to write a late holiday card for Thomas, my boyfriend, and then I want to do a face mask. So we're going to do these things a little bit out of order and I think for the first thing we're going to do our face mask and do our laundry. Here's the card that I got Thomas. Isn't it really cute? There's a puppy on it. Let's do our face mask first, put that on, and as we're letting that sit we're going to start our laundry. Not related to my face mask but this is what I just put in my hair after I shampoo usually. It's the Olaplex number no. six bond smoother and I really like it. It makes my hair feel very soft so here is the face mask we're going to do today. It's the Innisfree pore clearing clay mask with super volcanic clusters and I really like this because it really like takes all the oil out of my pores and yeah it's just some pretty good stuff. I love Innisfree. It's probably my favorite skincare brand and it's very affordable too so let's just put this on. Seems strange right it's all about someone looking in the rear view, dreaming about the lone sun. I'm not really thinking about the waves, about the next one. Not really about that. You did never like that. You know what it feels like. Now. Face mask is on and while we're going to let this dry I'm gonna to try to not talk so we're gonna start our laundry drink some coffee and maybe go bullet journal a little bit more but either way I'm gonna not talk while I let this dry and then we'll wash it off and continue on with our list of to-dos
face is all clean. It feels so smooth. I honestly don't do face masks that often anymore and I need to start doing them more often because they just feel so nice. But okay, now we're going to finish up my skincare. Really quickly, you guys have seen this before so I'm not gonna show it. Okay, hello guys. We are back and my skin feels very loved this morning. So we did our face mask. We're doing our laundry now, so that's good. Okay, next we're going to write my card for Thomas, and then clean the apartment and sanitize everything. I feel like this vlog is honestly just gonna be a bunch of time lapses, but that's okay. We're just, we're gonna be productive together. And something I did wanna mention also, one of my videos this week is going to be my first Q&A, and it's gonna be a mukbang style. If you know me, you know that one of my favorite dishes is hot pot, and it's the end of the year. I just figured what's a better time to do my first Q&A than now. So we're going to do a mukbang style, and we're going to eat hot pot the whole time as I answer your questions. Questions, so I'll ask you guys on Instagram too, but I figured to let you guys know now on my YouTube channel If you're following me on just my YouTube and not my Instagram then please go ahead and put in some questions in the comment section for anything you want to ask me. Wanted to make sure I said that to you guys before I forgot. Now let's write our Christmas card to Thomas. It's a little late, but it'll be like Christmas slash New Year's. Okay guys, we finished our card for Thomas and Thomas and I have been dating for over six years. We've been dating for like six and a half years and as you date somebody for so long, you wanna keep up as much as possible and for us, we like to give each other cards still and I know that they're overpriced cards and that I could just text him but there's something special about cards too where you just feel like you can be vulnerable and honest and just kind of pour your heart out. I wrote my card for Thomas as we end another year together and feeling very sentimental. You can't read it. <laughs> That's done. Now let's clean my apartment. Mainly I just want to re-sanitize everything and vacuum. So we're gonna do that really quickly. And, and then we will come back here and relax a little bit and find a great YouTube channel. my workout clothes on the drying rack and just other things that I don't want to put in the dryer like these free people camis they've gotten so pilled and worn out like right away so I really like them I wear them all the time but they just look so worn out now but yeah so I'm going to air dry all of my workout stuff and I put everything else in the dryer here's my home outfit today these are just these Nike tie-dye shorts that my mom found at the outlet. This is the Set Active body crop that you guys, I have told so many of my friends now, but I mean, I'm sure you've seen me wear this and the other one in oat milk like a million times in all of my videos. Like I wear it literally every single day. The body crop from Set Active is so amazing because it's in their same Sculpt Flex material so you don't have to wear a bra underneath but it's long enough to be a cami and it is just literally the best lounge top. If there's anything that you want to try from Set Active, it is the body crop. Let's go clean everything up now. my entire apartment I sanitized everything vacuumed everything wiped everything down so here's clean living room a nice clean kitchen and a nice clean bathroom done my last three things are finding a Korean YouTube channel after doing all four of those things it is 
10.40. We've actually gotten a lot done today so far and still pretty early. So I'm happy that at least like everything's all clean because I feel like on Sundays, that's just like my cleaning day. I mean, you guys saw that in my Sunday morning reset. I still wanna get everything clean even though I don't have work this week. We did that and I feel so much better already. Let's make the birthday book for my mom. It's really easy and I won't show too much because it's a, it's a gift for her friend. So I'll just show you what some of it looks like. Oh, also I wanted to show you guys. So we made our desk together in our last productive vlog, but I know I told you guys I wanted to move this desk back home or maybe sell it, but I decided to just keep the desk and repurpose it. I'm gonna use this desk for like bullet journal setups and spreads now that I have the space to really like do that with this desk. I figured this will be like my art bullet journal station and then that desk over there will be my like work get things done station. So I just think it's kind of cool to have a second desk in my room if I have the space to. There used to be a bench here, but it kind of didn't really give much purpose. And I can just use this desk as another space to do work. And and yeah, so I decided to keep the desk here. So that's why you don't see the bench anymore. But the bench is out in the living room and I'm going to sell that. So we're just gonna keep the desk. And now this is the book that my mom needs some help with, so I'm going to help her with that, and that's next on our to-do list. So this book is gonna be like a birthday book where my mom's friends will write notes, so I'm gonna use all the stuff that I got in my Archer and Olive subscription box to make this look nice and give her, give my mom's friends some room. Would you like coffee or tea? for my mom's friend. I won't show you everything just in case some of my mom's friends are watching this, but I'll just show you the cover page. It's just really simple. I think it's really pretty and I hope she likes it. Okay, cool, that's done. It is 11.40, so that took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but that's okay. We have our laundry almost done, books done, so we just have two more things left and let's get a move on that. Am I the only one that likes being on the ground? I have my iPad with me and let's see if we can find a Korean YouTube channel. It's really hard. I could literally talk to you guys about this for hours, but I am not fluent in Korean and I didn't grow up fluent in Korean. So I never actually learned how to speak Korean. It's been hard. I know how to read and write. My grandfather taught me how to read and write when I was young. So that was kind of easy to learn so I can enunciate words, but I'm not conversational at all. And I'm 24 years years old so my language brain is definitely a lot weaker than it would be if I were five years old trying to learn a second language so it doesn't come as naturally as I would like it to and because of that it's really a big challenge and it really is one of my life goals to be able to at least be conversational in Korean by the time that I have kids one day. If you're watching this and you're Korean and you have a Korean YouTube channel that you like, please let me know because I am struggling so hard with this. <laughs> I don't really know where to start. Maybe... Korean unni. Who makes learning Korean easy and fun? Okay, I need that. Okay, so it looks like a lot of her videos are like five to 10 minutes long. Okay, I know Thomas suggested finding a channel that was strictly just like a Korean channel. Okay, maybe we can start here for now and I'm gonna subscribe to her. Again, if you're Korean and you have a favorite Korean channel, I'm really just looking for a channel that is fun to watch and one that I can read the subtitles, so hopefully I can pick up some more things and become more familiar with the Korean language. Another suggestion that Thomas had was to learn one Korean song a month. I think that's pretty good. A Korean song and a translation for a month. I love Blackpink and BTS, so I think that's also a really good way for me to hopefully learn more of the language. If I can sing along to a song and actually know what they're saying, I think that's pretty good too. So finding a Korean channel and we're going to subscribe to Korean Onni to see if she can teach me anything, but I'm also going to learn one Korean song a month. That's really gonna be on my goals for next year and we're gonna see how that goes. But for now, I'm good with Korean Onni. Cool. And lastly, we're just gonna work on our 2021 spreads. 
Okay, here is the book that I'll be using for the first half of 2020, and it's the limited edition Archer and Olive Holographic Gilded Edges notebook. For the most part, I really want my yearly spreads to be more on the neutral side, and I want to focus more on like the handwriting, I think, of my yearly spreads. So we're gonna figure that out and get started at least. jelly roller on top of some craft paper and I drew some sparkles, stars, and then a little leaf, a little small plant. So we are going to try to continue this throughout the rest of our yearly spreads, but We're just gonna, while the rest of all of this is still air drying, we're just gonna put all this away really quickly. Okay guys, we finished everything on my to-do list for this morning, which means we completed our productive morning in my life and it's around 12.30, so we did everything in the time frame that I wanted to. So that's pretty successful to me. The only thing I really have left to do is just finish up these spreads, but my goal today was just to start them. So I think we did everything and we put our laundry away and now I can just relax for the rest of the day, edit some videos. Don't forget to leave questions in the comment section below for my Q&A that I'm going to be doing next week so don't forget to do that and make sure you're subscribed that's it for this video i'll see you guys in my next one but until then i miss you already